We are about to start the second stage of today's event, which is the presentations. We would like everyone to sit down. We are waiting for others to come in so that we can start. We will start when it's 10 o'clock. So we have about four to five minutes left. Thank you. Five minutes, then we will start.
Hello. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, teachers and students. We're delighted to have you all here for Avicenna's International Day celebration. With me to make this event memorable for you are my co-hosts, Biru Abtegebro and Justin Oancha. Thank you, Mitchell. It's an honor to be here today as we embark on a journey around the world, celebrating the rich cultural diversity of our school community. Indeed. Indeed. Our school is like a microcosm of the world, with students hailing from various countries, each bringing on board their unique culture and tradition. Today, we have a fantastic lineup of performances, exhibitions, and delicious international cuisine for all to enjoy. To start things off, let us take a moment to intimate ourselves on our safety measures. Behind me is an exit and in front of me is another exit which could be used in case of an emergency. Now please, let us all rise to sing the Nigerian National Anthem very much. Please, let's remain standing for the school anthem. Thank you very much. Sorry. School anthem, please. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. To start off the presentations, it is home to the Royal Bengal Tiger, a majestic creature. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Bangladesh. I'm going 
to talk about the festival. The festival of Bangladesh. Lokavaj is the traditional dragon boat race in Bangladesh. It is held rainy season in Bangladesh from June to October. Good morning everyone. I will talk about Nobanno. Is this is the another festival of Bangladesh. Nobanno means the feast in Bengali harvest, usually celebrated with food, dance and music in Bangladesh. It is a festival of food of many local preparation of Bangladesh of cuisines like pita are cooked. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and today I am here to talk about Poila Boisha which is the first day in the Bengali calendar and is celebrated on the 14th of April in the English calendar. On this day the traditional greeting is Shubho Novo Bosho which means Happy New Year and on this day there is a colorful procession where, which is brought to us by the Fine Arts uh, University of Dhaka and is, and is recognized by UNESCO as a cultural heritage. Thank you. Hope you enjoy our show. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can go. What a way to start things off. The next country on our list is renowned for its ancient Silk Road, connecting the East and the West. Please give it up for China! Hello everyone. No rush, you rushed. No rush. I am Pan Xinhua from China. You can also call me Pan. Next, the children of our Chinese team will perform a costume show with Chinese national characteristics and sing a song. The name of the song is Mo Li Hua. Now, the performance will start. Please enjoy the performance. Thank you. Thank you very much, China. A round of applause for China.
Thank you, children. You need to exit the stage now. Thank you. A round of applause for China. go to the Middle East first. Mm -hmm. I agree. This story is indeed a very sad one. It's disheartening. Our next country is indeed a very special one. However, however, the country has been colonized and occupied illegally for the past 75 years. 75, ladies and gentlemen, 75 years, making it the world's largest open prison. 20%, sorry, for over the past 20 years, its people have been killed, shot, arrested, and discriminated in their own country sorry 70 percent of the population of this particular city are refugees in their own country who were kicked out from their own countries and their own homes in 1948 when illegal occupation began they can't return in fact no refugee can really go back to their country as long as they are under occupation Their occupiers control the media and a strong propaganda machine that continuously works to control and dehumanize its people and convincing some of us that resistance against violations of their humanity and legitimate acts of resistance to occupation is terrorism. Our prayers go to Gaza. Our prayers go to the people of Palestine. Our prayers, are, our prayers go to the people who are dying every single day for the past five days, ladies and gentlemen. Five days. Five days. Yes, thank you. Five days of terrorism. Yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, our prayers go to Gaza, who in the, who in the last five days have been bombed over 5,000 tons of explosives, demolishing buildings, killing innocent civilians and occupants, and raising an entire neighborhood from the map. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, ladies and gentlemen, let us give a standing innovation and a long round of applause to the people of Palestine. Let us give a round of applause to the people who are coming out next. Palestine, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, give it your all. Thank you very much. Thank you. هلا 
Thank you very much, Palestine. A round of applause for them.
It's none other than Indonesia. Good morning everyone, Indonesia is a beautiful country that has many various tribes and culture. One of the culture that is preserved is traditional dance and now we will present traditional dance from Batak tribe in Sumatra, Indonesia. And here it is, Sinangar Tulo dance. Hope you haven't forgotten my proposed trip to Asia. Of course not. Seen how important it is to you? We must go there. Thank you, Justin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's travel to Asia. And trust me, the next country is definitely worth the it is the birthplace of yoga, which focuses on the mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than India! Namaste! Keep to madama! Shubhai ki abunandan, sasriyakal, or namaskaram. And I Pratham. Take the 
honor to welcome you all to the International Day celebration at Elisina on behalf of the entire Indian community. The Indian civilization is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. The Indian nation is a country with diverse traditional practices, each having their own unique characteristics. While India has 22 official languages, it is home to the world's oldest language, Sanskrit. We follow the concept of Atiti Devo Baba. We treat every single guest as equivalent to God. We are the staunch believers of Ashudhevya Kuchumbakam. That means the world is one family. Let us take you all for a glimpse of this country of unique cattle, uh, cultural diversity. Hello, madam. Welcome to India. Can't namaste. We're namaste. We're doing good. Um, do you know any famous places we can visit here in India? Welcome to the land of unity and diversity. I will be your guide for the day. Mm. I'll meet you at 2.30, okay? Every state has its own distinct art and dance form. Let us explore the rich heritage of cultural dances of India. We begin with Bharat Natyam, which originates from the southern state of India, Tamil Nadu. It is a dance form that encompasses music, rhythm and expression. It is a dance full of vigor, kicks and leaps. It is associated with the season of harvesting.
particularly performed to the beats of a dholki. It is a very popular dance form in the state of Maharashtra. state of Gujarat. It involves whirling, moving in circles and clapping. Garba is danced to honor the fact that all women have the divine energy of goddess within them. and is one of the oldest surviving martial arts in the world.
was a spectacular display of India's unity in diversity. India not only has a rich heritage of art and culture, but is also a leading the world in technology and science. India is all over the moon as it creates history in the field of rocket science by being the first country to successfully launch and land Chandrayaan-3 on the south pole of the lunar surface. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time up.
is known for its wonderful archaeological wonder called Rose Red Cliffs. Please put your hands together for Jordan!
beer. Provide me with an adjective that describes something good. Um, fantastic. That's it. That presentation was simply fantastic. Up next, a city is called the Red City because of its distinctive red sandstone buildings. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one, the only, more Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have the pleasure of introducing you to a country of immense beauty, rich culture, and captivating history, Morocco. Located in the northwest corner of Africa, Morocco is a land that seamlessly blends the ancient with the modern, creating a unique and vibrant tapestry that has intrigued travelers for centuries. Morocco's landscape is as diverse as its culture, from the rolling dunes of the Sahara Desert to the stunning Atlas Mountains. Morocco has breathtaking natural beauties. Its cities, like the bustling metropolis of Marrakesh, with its vibrant markets and stunning palaces, are like or the historical city of Fez, with its winding Medina streets and like living works of art. Please enjoy, Please enjoy. Please enjoy the show. Shukran Bazef.
The Baalbek Temple residing in this country is a testimony to the region's faith and history. Please give it up for Lebanon! It is home to many mountain ranges and ski resorts. You can actually ski in the morning and swim in the Mediterranean Sea on the same day if you want to. Let's talk about the famous people of Lebanon. There are many, there are many celebrities that left a good impact in the world like... Hassan Kamel Sabah. He was the first person to talk about building from solar power, mm. sun and from cell sun solar. Fairu, she's a singer. No morning starts without her voice on the radio or TV. Eli Saab is a fashion designer. And let us finish with Shakira, Kira, the, the Lebanese, Lebanese Colombian, Colombian singer. singer. Habibi, come to Lebanon.
شمس تفيش بينك يحق لك وطنك دينا